friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. So this will be carrying on from last week. This is day two, number two. Set pretty well, um, other than a bit of a funny neck. I must have slept in a bit of a funny position. It's nice and warm. It's been milling around, just had some breakfast. Just thinking about getting my life in order, pack up the camp, mosey on up the river. Shot over, didn't need it. Just so hard to catch fish in water like that. I used to go to look at one of my flies. I just tried to do a crossing. <laughs> and it was much deeper than it looked. And uh, got pretty wet. So I uh, got out of that. <sighs> and I just climbed up to the side and I'm trying to bypass this gorge by going over the top here. It's 11 o'clock so I've been fishing about three hours. I've fished a two fish and I've seen a third but uh, didn't even get a, a look in on that guy. It's a tough morning and uh, boy it's been hard going so far. Slow traveling. I can't believe it's in lunchtime already. Should see this coming over. He's on it. I think he just refused that. Okay, so I've got this gorge now to get around. So I'm gonna go up and uh, just break my rod down for this. Be a little bit easier. Oh, it looks super steep. I'm pretty happy once this is out the way, this gorgy bit. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't really want to go up there. If I can help it, it looks doable. Be super careful here. One little slip, and you're in trouble. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm, look where I am. I won't do it justice on this camera, but this is hard work, man. Like, it's very steep, super sketchy. And this is hard work with this pack, man. Uh, I don't even actually expect the gorge to be this long. I really, I really hope it ends soon. Yeah, it's tough. I'm definitely stopping for some lunch when I get out for this. I'm a long way up. I'm fucked. Oh. I might be able to get down here. 
to pretty high up. Uh, 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 uh. Holy shit, that just turned it up a couple of notches. I'm not even out. I come down here and I was so happy. But I think that's the end of the gorge over there. I have to get back up and around that next step. Uh, oh, it's serious. Oh, I just had to stop. Have a drink. You know, something to eat. Just chill out for 20 minutes and then, you know, carry, carry on. That's, uh, I don't really enjoy that. Oh, I think I did it. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Man, I am so glad I'm out of that. That was, that was tough. That was really, really hard work. Yeah, didn't really like it. And I hope there's no more of them. Um, I'm just gonna have a look down in this. This is like the top of the gorge pool. And as I was coming up over the top, I poked down in there. There's a huge fish in there. At least there was. I don't really see from here, but uh, if he's still there, I'll definitely have a go for him. And then uh, try to catch fish, get on the board for the day. flies with that fish and all I could get them to do was come over look and then go and then uh, at the end there he saw me shit Ugh. really uh, really could have done with catching that one right campsite done firewood ready coffee made boy today was tough it was tough physically quite tough mentally in the fact that I got skunked. Um, it's the first time I've been skunked for a while now. I saw more fish than yesterday, but I just couldn't get them to eat my fly. I fished everything today to fish, from like size 14, uh, tungsten bead nymphs, to lightly weighted soft tackles, to tiny unweighted nymphs, just, they just didn't want to know. So I hope to process and come up with a better plan tomorrow. Physically, I'm knackered. That was a really tough day. Getting around that gorge, that was one of the hardest things I've done for a long time. Awesome place. Cool, I got to see some more amazing water of this beautiful river. So I'm gonna drink this coffee, chill out, eat some food. I will uh, see you guys in the morning. Now it's day three because day two, well, there wasn't very many fish in day two. There actually wasn't any fish in day two. I got skunked. Oh, there's a fish. It's a good fish. Boy, did I sleep good last night. Anyway, day three. I've got a full day today and then a half day tomorrow. Pressure's on a little bit today to make it happen. So, uh, oh, my sweet campsite backdrop. What a place. Anyway. Gonna have some breakfast, drink a big coffee, pack up camp, get moving, get fishing, make it happen. Oh no, he ate 
made it. Oh, we made it. Shit. Oh. He ate it and I missed him. I don't know how, but I missed him. Well, I actually got that fish to eat and I missed him. I don't know how, as soon as that fly went boop, I was pretty, well, I was real quick on it and uh, he just wasn't on the end. But at least it proves to me I can get these fish to eat. Right, I'm gonna carry on with breakfast and packing up. Got a little bit distracted there. I did a crossing, a really bad crossing, lazy crossing. It wasn't very quiet, and as I got out and went up onto this high bank, I saw a fish move out, and I was like, ah, I've spooked it. But I think it's because there's two fish, and they were just moving around. They're both really good fish. So I'm gonna sit here and put some time into these fish, because if I can catch one, that's the day made. See what happens. What to give them. Okay, I'm in position. I'm sure he looked at that. I changed 15, peacock pointer. Didn't want that. So I just went to a little home tie brown thing, then a piece of 5X, and then a size 18 pheasant tail. Oh, God. <sighs> Double fly change. Should see this. Oh, he 100% looked. 100% looked. Just, yeah, fly change 208. Right, so I just had a bit of a rest. Randomly, I was just changing fly and I heard what I thought was a deer behind me and it was two fishermen. Carl and Reese. Good to meet you guys. Super random to run into you here. They've actually been fishing this section up from here. They're gonna go up stream and carry on fishing up from their camp, which is where I will probably camp tonight. Not ideal to be fishing up behind somebody else, but uh, it is what it is. <sighs> and he's finally had enough and gone away. Uh, I gave him everything. The best I could get him to do was come over and look. That was it. I'm gonna have some food and then mosey on up. And it's only got a couple of kilometers until where the boys camped. So I'll just take my time, go slow. I left that last fish and then I just pushed up. I didn't see anything, so I ended up moving up quite quickly. Caught up with, um, caught up with Carl and Reese, and uh, just hung out with them for a bit while Reese fished through a fish. Same story as I've been experiencing for the last day, which is good presentations. Fish comes over, uh, doesn't want to know, carries on on his day. They have had to turn around because they are on their way out of here today. So I'm going to now push upstream, see if I can't save the day. I just need one fish, that's all, just one fish. And I'll be stoked. got this fish to eat. Unreal. Yeah. Whoo. Perseverance, man.
Right, just got myself back to camp. This is where we're going to set up. This is where the boys were parked up and they were nice enough to tell me about it. I thought last night was good and it was. This is luxury. So I'm going to get everything set up and then we'll catch up. Okay, it's dinner time. I'm actually cooking out here because uh, the sand blows are super bad today. So they're actually a little less bad out here. Another tough day, man. Just randomly bumped into Carl and Reese today, which I wasn't expecting. I'm sure it was as much of a shock to them as it was to me. So not ideal that I bumped into people, but hey, them's the break that happens, so you just deal with it. Once I pushed on from where they turned around, managed to save the day with that last fish. Stoked about that because, well, it's been a tough couple of days. The last couple of days is very much what I was expecting in here. Not an easy river, but a spectacular river. I put in a lot of Ks today. What I did at the end there, after the boys left, I pushed it and I pushed and I pushed and I pushed. I actually covered quite a lot of ground. So I'm pretty knackered. So I'm gonna have some dinner, drink the rest of my whiskey, and uh, yeah, probably get an early night. Tomorrow morning, I think my plan is to just slowly go through the water I went through this afternoon pretty much from here up because there were some pools that I went through and also the boys went through didn't have any fish out and about so maybe tomorrow morning there might be one or two so I'll do that get to about lunchtime and then I'll think about getting out of here so I'll uh, catch up with you fellas in the morning colder this morning beautiful day like blue sky but it's pretty cold and no sand flies yet which makes me wonder where the fuck they are <laughs> last morning I'm gonna pack up camp and then I'm just gonna slowly go back up through the water I went up through yesterday afternoon and just see if I can find a fish if I find a fish just take my time and just you know sit on it until I catch it or spook it I'm um, all run at a time just gonna stay within a K or so of camp because just after lunch, I'm gonna to have to turn, start getting out of here. Ugh. Oh, that's good. Every fish you come across in here, um, it, it takes so much time to get into position to work the fish's beat out. Because the thing in here is, the fish in these pools, in fact, I think every fish I've seen today, actually every fish I've seen on this trip, like normally, at least some of the fish you'll find, they'll be on station and they'll just be sat in one place feeding. 
The fish in here, they're constantly moving. They're, they're on a beat. They're cruising around. They're changing. So they're never in one spot for long at all. Or they're never actually in one spot. They're just constantly moving. So it means trying to get a fly in front of them is super difficult and time for the tuna. You're spending hours on a fish for potentially nothing. Actually, for most of the time, for nothing. Just to be rejected. It's unlike any other place I've fished in that respect, anyway. And this is pretty much how she's gone for the last two days. Spend ages getting in position. I managed to get that fish. I'm pretty sure I look at my fly once, maybe twice. And now it's gone. Came over. Last I saw of it. And they're so hard to catch. <laughs> I actually found a fish. The uh, first fish I've found in like a fast piece of water and he's feeding. I'm just gonna try lengthening out, lengthening out my tippet a bit and um, going a little bit heavier. I don't believe it. I'm on 5X now and this is not a good place to be on 5X. What a beautiful fish. Got time. Sitting around those boulders which I don't like. Oh no, he was in the net. Yes! Woo! <laughs> oh yes! buzzing off of that it's such a good way to go out it's lunchtime and I gotta go I've got to get out of here because it's a big big mission so I was really just down to the wire there it's gonna go down in one of the prettiest browns I think I've caught definitely a river where if you catch one fish a day you've nailed it and I think pretty much that's where my expectations were so just no room for mistakes in here at all it's really big terrain it's real sketchy in places it's just a really serious place to be hanging out and, and fishing amazing place I love a challenge I love a place that kind of keeps you honest humbles you every now and then puts you in your place I feel very small in here all right I'm gonna sign off here guys because I've got a big mission to get out of here so I'm gonna put all the cameras away and then just get it done thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this one something very very different in a very very cool place give me a thumbs up drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace